Hello there, it's me your fellow Star Wars Moon Boy Ash Platt and today I'm going to be doing something that I'm surprised that I haven't done yet. It is a tier list. These these were all done to death like last year or whenever it was. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised I haven't done one sooner so today I'm going to do one. And yeah, opinions. These are my opinions on the films. I'm sure you have your own opinions. Um, we all have our, you know, we all have our preferences. And yeah, if if your film isn't on top, don't shout at me in the comments, please. I will cry. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get started. Um, so first, we've got episode two. Episode two is uh, a rough one. Um, there's a lot that I don't like about it. I think it's the weakest of the prequels. Um, there's there's a few there's a few good bits, you know. I really like the the Obi Wan part of the film, you know, him trying to figure out what you know what's going on with the clones and like this underground. It is, there's a lot of undergroundness to it. Um, I really like the battle on Genosis. That's pretty good. The you know the the, the love story between Anakin and, and uh, Padme. It's it's really cheesy. Is like super cheesy, so I I'm, think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put that in the C class for now. For now, it may move. I'm not sure. We'll see. Next one we have Empire Strikes Back, the best Star Wars film. I think 99% of Star Wars fans fans agree that Empire Strikes Back is the best one in the whole saga. It's just perfect. It's the it is the, it is the most perfect Star Wars film. There's nothing I really dislike about it. Nothing that's coming to mind right now. Um, I can't think of anything. It's my favourite film in the whole saga. It's going up top. Best tier. Best. Boom. If you disagree, you let me know, <laughs> please. Um, oh, Force Awakens. So this was this film brought Star Wars to a new level. The hype around this film was amazing. Um, back in was it 2014? Was the first reveal? Was it 2013? 2014? I can't remember. Um, but when this film came out, it was it, it brought Star Wars back. You know, it had been it had been stagnated for I don't even know how long. If years, uh, we didn't think we'd get another Star Wars film. Um, so this was the, it's created a massive hype, you know. It's brought me back into Star Wars because I'd kind of fallen out of love with it. Um, that's why I made my channel. Um, but it's, it's 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 a it's it's a film. It's a film. It's okay. It's good. It's okay. It's it's not my favourite of the sequels. I mean, none of them are really my favourite. I enjoy one more than others. Um, but it's 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 a good film. It's there's a few lines that I dislike. Um, the plot's okay. It's just there. Uh, it doesn't really. It, it's 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 a good start. It was a really good start. They had they had all this set up. You know, we'll go into. You know, everyone knows what happens <laughs> if you've seen the Rise of Skywalker. Um, but they had all these characters. They they all these new people. They brought in obviously. The old characters. We had Han Solo return. We had um, Leia return. Chewbacca. That was that was cool. And obviously, Luke Skywalker at the end. Um, it was a film. It was a good film. And again, I'm probably going to put that. I don't know if I'm going to put. It, oh, do I want to put it above Episode Two? I don't know now. Do I like it more than Episode Two? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna put it above episode two. It might move. It might change. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how this is gonna go. Um, oh, the Last Jedi is the next one. Controversial film. I think this probably is the most. It's the most mixed. I think of Star Wars films. Um, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. A lot of people are in between. Um, I, I, I don't. I'm kind of more more past in between into love. I don't love it, but I do really like it. But okay, we're gonna we're gonna get some hate in the comments now. I, I understand. There is a lot of um there's a lot not to like about this film. You know, the whole casino scene, the, like the whole 
uh, the, the end with Rose and Finn, you know, <laughs> her stopping Finn from sacrificing himself to save the resistance, and then five seconds later, after she stops him from doing that, they just blow a hole in the door where the resistance are. So it kind of defeats the point where Finn could have just finished finished it there and then. Um, there's a lot. Of, it's, it's what it is the most beautiful Star Wars film. It's it's so good to look at. Everything about it is beautiful. The the sets good. The uh, CGI is really good. Um, Kylo Ren in this film. I really like Kylo Ren during the sequels. He's he's the only saving grace. I mean, all the acting. The acting is pretty good. It's the writing that's bad. There's no story. We can talk about the flying layer scene. Um, <laughs> I, I see what they were trying to do. I see what they were trying to do. They just did not execute it very well at all. It looks stupid. When I, was, I went to the cinema to see this, and I'm pretty sure half the people there just started laughing, including myself, because it just looks ridiculous. Um, but it, uh, it's. I do really like it. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. There's a, there's loads of elements in there. I. I Obviously, there's a Luke. A lot of people disagree with like the old, the press. You know, oh, the the the, uh, the press Luke. Um, I kind of like that. I I get obviously after like Mark Hamill basically saying that's not his Luke Skywalker, and I I agree it's not. But I really like seeing this down and out Luke Skywalker, um, not just this big hero that we we used to. And it's nice to see like another side of him. I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to put it. See, I've said more good things about this than Force Awakens, so I might have to move Force Awakens down to C. And I'm going to move that up to B. Okay, that's 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 staying like that. I like uh, uh, that's my choice. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people really do not like the Last Jedi, so I'm leaving it as that. It might move again. Who knows? We've moved the Force Awakens twice. Um, Next one is A New Hope. Well, just Star Wars, if you're like an original Star Wars fan, because obviously when this was come out, they, there wasn't a trilogy planned or a franchise planned out of it, or you know, Star Wars, A New Hope. Um, again, it's a, it's a, it's a classic film. It it does the job that it sets out to do. Obviously. There's a lot about it now that's dated. Um, obviously, we can talk about the, the Darth Vader and Obi Wan fight. It was um, really, it's kind of slow, but I think that's what they was going for back then. Um, obviously, they couldn't really do the old jumping around these these fantastical choreographed <laughs> lightsaber battles. Um, it's a decent film. It's not my favourite of the. Originals, obviously, because um, Empire Strikes Back is in S tier. Do I put it? I don't know if I put it equal with Last Jedi in terms of my enjoyment. Do I put it? Do I put it in A or B? Uh, I'm gonna put it with the Last Jedi for now. For now, okay. <laughs> Phantom Menace. Oh, yeah, it's another one. Another good. It is 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 another one that's. Not well loved by the uh, Star Wars community, but it has a lot of goodness to it. A lot of goodness. Obviously, we've got Liam Neeson as Qui Gon Jinn. Qui Gon Jinn's an amazing character who they don't really do anything with. There's a few bits in like the Clone Wars animated. Um, other than that, not. I can't really think of much that he's in. Um, Qui Gon's amazing. The introduction of Darth Maul. Um, what else? We've got the, the pod racing scene, I think is fantastic. I really love it. That's like one of the best scenes in the movie. We've got the fight at the end. We've got, there's not a lot, there's a lot of politics. Obviously, this is, obviously, they brought in a lot of politics for the prequels, um, which a lot of people don't like. I, I understand that. It can be kind of boring in a way, because you want know, to Star Wars, you want to watch action, you want to watch people, you want lightsaber battles, you want stormtrooper battles, you, want, you know, you want all these space battles, you want all this stuff, and then they've just like, Shove politics into it, which I get. I get that because this is a different time, different time period in the in the universe. Um, where do I put it though? I don't want to put it in B because it's not an A. I 
I don't know. I might have to. I'm gonna have to. Do I like more than Last Jedi? And yes, I probably do. I probably do. I'm gonna put in the A tier. I'm gonna stick with that for now. <laughs> okay, Return of the Jedi. Mm. Again, it's a good film. It's, it's what I think it's the one of the worst rated originals, I believe. I think mainly because of like the the Ewoks and stuff, but they re I, they really don't bother me. I, I kind of like the Ewoks. I think they're cute. Um, got the the epic battle between Luke and Darth, and we got uh, you got the the battle on Endor, and you got the the Death Star battle as well. Um, it's a good film. I really like it. Uh, I'm gonna have to put it. Do I pull it with a new hope though? Do you know what? I'm gonna move a new hope down to C. I'm gonna put it to B. I prefer Return of the Jedi a little bit more than a new hope. The so next one is Rogue One. I really love Rogue One. I think it's one of the best. It's it, well, it, we have the two. It's definitely the best spin-off. Um, I really love that it leads into a new hope like literally exactly you've got all these new characters which spoiler they don't make it because <laughs> they had kind of kind of wouldn't make any sense if they did um and we've got the you got that epic <laughs> darth vader hallway scene which is just so dramatic for vader you know he i read somewhere that he's pretty much turned off his life support just so he could stay hidden in the darkness and he <laughs> turns it back on when he when he um when he needs to he's just that's just so dramatic for Darth Vader Krennic I really love Krennic he's such an awesome character I kind of wish I, I don't know if he's in the comics or anything I haven't read anything but I kind of I kind of hope he's been fleshed out a bit more um yeah it's a really solid film it's definitely my favorite I love the war aspect you know, we get to see him on the ground in Scarif. It, that's such a cool planet. I really like it. It's such a beach scene. It's different to mainly Star Wars. You know, it's desert. That's like the go-to planet is a desert planet. Um, so it was nice to see like a, a beach planet in a way. It's, t it's different. I like it. I'm going to put that next to episode one. So next we have Revenge of the Sith. Well, we all know how we feel about this film. It's, um, it's straight in the S tier. It's definitely one of the best Star Wars films. Um, we've got this epic lead up to Anakin becoming Vader. Everything's coming to this weird point in the saga where all the main characters are, you know, they're, they're distancing themselves. Um, yeah, it's it's great to see Anakin like fall to the dark side. I don't know, it's just it's it's done. I don't think they could have done it much better than it is. Obviously, there's that four-hour cut that. George Lucas has mentioned, I believe. Um, I, I, hopefully, one day we see that that sees the light of day. I would really, would really love to see a four-hour cut of this. I know there's probably a lot of guff because um, George Lucas likes his guff. Uh, yeah, it's it's it is one of the perf most perfect Star Wars films. Obviously, a lot of people put it down to like nostalgia as the reason it's like one of the most highly rated Star Wars films. But no, it's not. It is it is the best out of the prequels it is it is one of my favourites in the whole in the whole saga. So that's the reason it stays an S. It's perfect. I love it. I could watch it a hundred times and never get bored of it. Obviously obviously some of the you know some of the dialogue is cheesy. Like really cheesy. I don't know if that's what they were sort of going for with the prequels, just a lot of cheese. Obviously the original originals was a bit cheesy. I'm just getting I'm just gonna put it down to like George Lucas's type of humour. I don't know. I don't know, but it's 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 perfect and I love it. It's staying there. So solo is next. I really liked it. I think it was um it was it was a decent Star Wars film. I didn't think it was necessary. Like when they first announced it I thought oh, like, I wasn't really hyped for it. I thought, oh here we go, that's gonna cash out on all this all these characters now. Um but it was a it was a decent film. It's a, it, it, it's sad it flopped. You know it flopped because when did it come out? It came out in May. I think it was just before or just after Avengers. Um, can't remember which one. 
and obviously it was after The Last Jedi which uh, a lot of people did not like um, but it was a solid film I liked how it showed us how Han met Chewie I think that was pretty well done um, and that train high scene that was pretty cool from what I remember um, you had these other characters introduced I cannot remember their names for the life of me like Kiora um, I think she was really good um, I'm hoping like she makes a makes a comeback in some other Star Wars project. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure she was in a comic. Um, obviously there's the, there's the ending where, sh where you know Darth Maul was back, which a lot of people were like, how is Darth Maul back? He died in episode one. But these are obviously people that didn't watch like the Clone Wars animated show. That was probably a bit weird for them. Obviously I knew he was back because I've seen the show. Um, it was a good film. It was a good film. I really enjoyed it. It was sort of it's, it's a film. It's there. Do I put it above? I might just put it in C. Because it was a film. <laughs> it was a decent. It's a decent watch. I I I didn't have really have any complaints from start to finish. Um, maybe the old Lando robot loving thing. I don't know. It was a bit weird, but that don't surprise me. Um. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a decent film. I like it. It's going in C. Obviously, it's not the highest place, but um, yeah. I uh, don't know. I've got, I'm kind of looking at this list. I don't know. If, I don't. Everything looks okay. I think everything looks fine. That looks good to me. Okay, I'm leaving as is. And then obviously now we've got the rise of Skywalker. <sighs> Boy, what a flop! Ah, this film. This film was. Um, this was not good. It, there, there is nothing in this film that I like, apart from maybe Kylo Ren again. Adam Driver as Kylo Ren was—he's perfect. He—he he, he committed to that character. I get pretty much all of the main characters. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just the writing is terrible. Obviously, you've got John Boyega as Ray. As Ray. <laughs> John Boyega as Ray, that'd be something. John Boyega as Finn, uh, just another character thrown to the side. Poe Dameron thrown to the side. Even like Ray really wasn't fleshed out. It turned out she was a Palpatine. I'd rather she had stayed as a nobody, you know. Um, it's just not. It's nah. It's just not good. JJ, what Disney? What are you? This is how you go out. This is how you go out after forty odd years. This is how they finish the main saga on this. It's essentially going in D. I would put it further down, but you know, oh, terrible, terrible film. I really dislike it. There's just there's no redeeming qualities to it. I've watched it twice, and that's it. I'm not gonna watch it anymore. I'm probably not gonna watch it again. It's just it's just awful. It's, it's so convenient. It's very convenient as well. You know, with like the whole dagger scene and the Death Star. Like, oh, this ancient Sith dagger. I don't know why I went farming. Then. This ancient Sith dagger points to where the holocron is on the Death Star when it crashed. Like, if, however long ago it was, 30 years ago. It's exactly in this spot. You know, and it's very convenient that they stood at exactly the same place, and it's convenient how they found the dagger as well. Luke was hunting for years, and they end up falling down a sinkhole, and they find it. That's it. Brilliant. Good job. Good job, Disney. Good job. You uh, you uh. <laughs> I'm ranting. I don't want to rant. I'm not. No, I'm not going to rant anymore. I'm gone forever. Um, so. What we got? We're S tier, Empire Strikes Back, Revenge of the Sith, A tier, Episode One, Rogue One. Ooh, the ones. Um, B tier, Last Jedi, Return of the Jedi. <sighs> yeah. Okay. C tier, Attack of the Clones, Force Awakens, New Hope, Solo. D tier. I mean, I would chuck it further down, but I can't. D tier is Rise of Skywalker. So yeah, this is probably I'm gonna have to cut this video down quite a lot because it's currently half hour long. Um, a lot of ranting and stuff. <laughs> if you disagree with my choices, 
then feel free to let me know maybe write down your tier lists in the comments below that would be great to see I always read the comments so it'll be nice to uh, to see everyone else's opinions so yeah thank you for watching um, this is a bit of a weird video but I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in the future